Good morning everyone. Um, it's quite an exciting day today. You can probably tell my cheeks are hurting already from all the grinning. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got a new sewing machine. I'm so excited. Um, shall we open it together? I thought that might be quite fun. Let's get on. Right, should we do this? Um, before I open it, I should probably tell you what it is. So it's the Faf Quilt Ambition 630, um, which was the top of the range machine in the 6 series, but it's recently been replaced by the 635, which is a special anniversary edition. Um, but I really wanted this one, so I had to do a bit of digging to see whether I could find it still in stock. And I was really lucky to find it at um, David Drummond Sewing Machines in Edinburgh. Uh, so I've had the last one. And it's just been delivered this morning, so let's get in. little uh, voucher here for £100 to spend at David Drummond which was part of a deal that I managed to get so that's quite nice it's like a lifetime promise ah so um, if you buy a machine from David Drummond and you keep your box and all of the packaging they will collect it um, for free whenever it needs a service so obviously Edinburgh is quite a long way away from Shropshire um, but they'll send a courier to pick it up take it back up there it'll get serviced and then it, it'll, they'll bring it back for free as well so that's nice lifetime promise for the, for the lifetime that I own the machine I think what else is in there some other bits in there User guide. Some extra bobbins. Oh, that's cute. There's a little um, stitch sample in there. Isn't that cute? Here's the little pack of tools. So there's needles in there, more bobbins, seam ripper, all the normal stuff that you get with a new machine. Okay, I think it's the big bits now. Let's see. Good. So this one comes with a hard case, that was one of the things I wanted. Right, let me see if I can lift it. I think I'm going to put the box on the floor and then lift it out. That might be easier. under the table, wondering what's going on. Oh. oh my gosh. 
Actually, let me tilt you up. There it is. Oh, isn't it lovely? So it's a fair bit bigger than my um, Janome machine, as you can see there. This lips up and shows you all of the stitches. 201 stitches. I can't imagine I'll ever use all of those. Let's move the box out of the way. Hi Frank, say hi Frank. Can you see Frank down there? Down on the table. Hi Frankie. Wow. Wow. I'm going to set it up. I'm going to have a play and set it up. I'll come back in a minute. Right, I've got it all set up. I've threaded it. I've um, yes, hello Frank. Um, yeah, all threaded up. Bobbins, bobbins threaded, needles threaded. I figured out how to uh, engage and disengage the IDT. Uh, figured out how to use the screen to change the stitches. Uh, I've had a good look at the feet, and I've had a play with some of the uh, fancy stitches loads of feet with this so it comes with six feet as standard buttonhole zipper the standard foot fancy stitch foot for IDT fancy stitch foot standard haven't worked out what the difference is obviously one works with the IDT and one doesn't so I'm guessing some stitches need it and some don't um, and then this one which I'm not sure what that one is, but we'll figure it out. And then because this is the quilt model, I also got a free motion quilting foot. I think, is that what they're called? Free motion quilting, I think so. And then a quarter inch foot. And I've got that one as well. And then it has quite a number of extra stitches as well, with it being the quilt edition. Um, yeah, I think they're the main the main differences, and obviously no buttons because it's touch screen. But I love it. So I've had a play with some of the stitches, um, and I'm really pleased. I'll show you that. Just a little scrap of fabric, and I had a bit of a play with the straight stitch, the zigzag, and some of the fancy stitches in the buttonholes and it also sews on your button and you don't even need a special foot for that basically you take your foot off and you just use do they call it the knuckle I don't know the knuckle and you balance that on top of the button on top of your fabric and then there is an actual stitch for sewing on your buttonholes and I didn't um, let it do it by itself, I was a bit scared, so I just hand wound it and yeah, it sewed it on like in less than a minute. So, I mean, that alone is a game changer, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I really, really like it. Um, I don't know what to do first. Yeah, it's like, there's, it does so much, I don't really know where to start. Yeah. I should probably just make something, shouldn't I? Um, it, it's not very complicated. I think after maybe half an hour of playing with it, it, everything sort of becomes clear and you figure out where everything is. I thought it might take me a while to get used to where everything is with it being a touch screen. 
my Janome is um, is a computerized machine, um, and it has a small LCD screen, but everything is selected by buttons, and the screen just shows you what you've selected basically. But this is great. What I really like is that you can see the stitch on the screen. Um, so if I select a zigzag, it shows you the zigzag pattern on the screen. And then if you change the stitch width or stitch length, that image changes as well. So you can see before you even start sewing what your stitch is going to look like. And that's really, really helpful. Um, 201 stitches. So it's going to take me a while to have a go at all of those. Um, the feet pop off on and off really easily. You just push it down and it pops off and then you just clip the next one on. The IDT is really easy to engage and disengage. There's so much room, like so much room. When I made my latest Ilford jacket, this pink one behind me, um, that's made out of a quite heavy cotton canvas. Actually, it's not cotton, it's a blend. I think it's linen cotton, heavy linen cotton. Um, so by the time I was uh, sewing the collar on, I think it was, I forget which bit, it, a bit I'd got to, but I was struggling quite a bit to get it through the gap in my sewing machine, but there's so much extra room in this one, you know, we would cope with it really, really easily. And I suppose it's made for quilts, isn't it? So you can roll your quilt up in here and do all your fancy stitches. So yeah, never know, maybe I'll have a go at quilting at some point in the future, but Right now, I'm just really keen to get started working on my next project on this. Uh, so I've got a dress pattern all cut out and ready to go. It's the Freedom Dress by Wardrobe by Me. And I think that's going to be my first test. So it's a totally new pattern. I haven't made it before on a totally new machine. So wish me luck. Um, I have to say... Um, the company I bought this from, David Drummond in Edinburgh, they were fantastic. Like, honestly, I have, I've never dealt with a company whose customer service was so good before. It, they were just amazing. Um, if you look on their website, it shows you the machines that they've got in stock. Um, and this one wasn't actually on the website, but I thought I'd take a risk and give them a call and just see if they had it, because I knew they had all the other models. Um, and I also know that... Alison from So Like Dotty gets her machines from there and she's always got really good things to say. So I thought it was worth a go. Um, and yeah, like I said, they did have, they had one left. Um, so we were chatting through it and uh, you know, he was making sure that that's, that would be suitable for me. And then we sort of started to talk about what kind of deal we could do. And yeah, I'm, I am so, so happy. Um, so that was sort of Wednesday, late afternoon early evening we were chatting and then Thursday they called me to say that it had gone in the post, it had gone off with the courier and Friday morning it was here at 8.30. So uh, yeah, amazing service. I really would recommend them if you're on the lookout for a new machine. So yeah, I think I'm going to get going and uh, get sewing. I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> Right then, uh, thank you so much for watching, um, as always. I really, really appreciate you taking the, your time to watch my vlogs. It, it's brilliant. Um, give me a like if you liked it, subscribe if you don't already, and have a lovely week, lovely weekend, and hopefully I'll see you very soon with a make that I've sewn up on this. Right, take care. Bye now.